numbers here. Um, the performance, um, which is through yesterday, um, is now at 7.69%. Uh, so there's been some growth. We've seen a little bit more volatility here in the last couple of weeks. Um, but 7.69% is the return. Fred had mentioned the asset allocation, and that really hasn't changed since the quarter ends, so there's not much to, to speak about there. But I will mention, and it's going to go along with our recommendation here, is we are and have been a little bit overweight in stocks. Um, our, our, the investment policy that, that the board has here states the upper end of the stock range is 60%. So we're 61, 61.5%. Um, so we'll, we'll make some recommendations here in a minute regarding that, as well as some other uh, managers. Um, and we have taken out uh, one, I'm sorry, four million fifty-two thousand nine forty-two per year as far as withdrawals. And I think Tom would, would agree with that. And then currently our balance again through yesterday was one hundred twenty-two million one hundred fifty-four thousand one twenty-nine. And some growth there. Um, any questions at this point? Okay. So, you know, what we've been looking at, um, we've, we've uh, been, we're always looking at our managers and we've kind of been keeping an eye on a couple of them uh, for some underperformance, what we would consider underperformance. And again, performance isn't everything. It's a big part of what we look at, but we also look at the risk met metrics. Um, you know, how are they managing? How much risk are they taking on? Um, are they getting the return for the amount of risk that they're taking on? Um, and so one of the managers is Wedgwood that we're, we're going to rec make a recommendation that we kind of terminate that relationship. Um, we've had a uh, you know, I think one of the things that they have a fairly concentrated portfolio uh, when things are good when they get the picks right they've done well and uh, I would say the last couple of years they have not done that as, as well as we think they, sh they could or should um, we've mentioned a few times in here that uh, Stiefel has um, a rating system if you will for all these money managers and as of August uh, 23rd they, they started to put them on a watch and so it just kind of raised our eyebrows a little bit more and said, hey, maybe it's time to do that. Um, that portfolio has about $12 million in currently. We're going to suggest that we take $10 million of that and move it to Leg Mason. Same discipline. We have them now as a manager, Leg Mason. Um, but the risk matrix are definitely uh, different and, and improved with Leg Mason. Um, we look at Alpha. Um, the alpha, frankly, in, like, in, the, in the Wedgwood, rather, is a negative alpha. We want that to be positive. Lake Mason is 3.5%. That's a, that's a good alpha. And the sharp ratio, they're taking on more risk, Wedgwood is, versus leg. So we're improving the quality of the portfolio. Um, we feel like right now is the time to do that. Um, do you need a motion for that? You have your policy established, mm -hmm. and you know this is all going to fall within enforcing the forcing yeah. policy yeah. essentially. Yeah, so, so we're going to take ten million dollars from Wedgwood and move that to Leg Mason, and then the other two million to kind of get our allocation back to where the investment policy is. Move that to CS and keep. Okay. Sounds good. Sir, so at seven 